I'm Sabrina Jones. I'm the elementary science teacher. I'm also the elementary and intermediate chapel teacher. But my journey at Lake Country actually didn't begin as staff. It began as a student. I came my junior year of high school in 1985. When I first came to the school in 1985, my mom was a sixth grade homeroom teacher. She met in a trailer that was parked in the area where our new basketball goal is on the playground. It was in that year of 1985-86 that the existing high school building was built as a shopping center. So there were dump trucks and all sorts of construction equipment, digging and building and plowing. And a day came where my mom was teaching her sixth graders how to reduce fractions. And a guy driving a backhoe backed into the trailer hard enough that the trailer tilted slightly and pencils and books were sliding off. And my mom had kind of had it. She was kind of done with the noise of the construction. And she left her little trailer and she went out to the guy on the tractor and she said, I'll make a deal with you. You go inside there and teach those sixth graders how to reduce fractions and I will drive this thing and periodically bump the building. And then she had to apologize because she was like, I'm sorry, I'm just, I've just kind of, I've kind of had it. And then if we fast forward to 1991, my mom was no longer teaching at the school, but now I was teaching at the school. My mom had been on a mission trip to Kenya, and she came to speak in chapel about her trip to Kenya. And I had forgotten to mention to her that we had recently acquired this shopping center. And she was looking outside of the elementary building, and she saw students coming in and out of the back of what she thought was a grocery store. And she says, where are they going? And I said, well, probably to class. I said, we bought that building. She's like, what are you talking about? Show me. And I remember walking with my mom through the halls of the building. And I'm like, look, this is the chemistry room and this is whatever. And I'm just having a great time showing her this new building. And um, I looked at my mom and she was crying. And I said, why are you crying? I said, it's great that we have this building that God has provided for us. And she said, Sabrina, you don't understand. In 1985, I questioned what God was doing having me here as a teacher. We lived in Glen Rose. It was more than an hour and a half each way to get here. She made a lot of personal sacrifices so I could attend school here. And she said, I just wanted you to come to school here. And I was teaching in a trailer that got bumped into by the bulldozer trying to teach these kids about fractions and they didn't care about fractions. And I kind of lost my mind because God was building the future and I couldn't see it. I didn't realize he was building Lake Country Christian School. I thought he was building a grocery store and I couldn't see the big picture in that, in that moment. Fast forward to today, this building became even more significant because um, I have four children and all four of my children went to Lake Country. That building that my mom got frustrated with God with, it's a building where my own children, her grandchildren, they, they encountered God and became strong Christ followers in that building where she couldn't see the big picture in 1985 that God was working on the future. Every time our school is facing a building project or facing a difficulty, I look back and I look back to 1985 where my mom was questioning what is happening here, not seeing that God was actually building the future. Because as our school grows and influences more people, we will face more hurdles. But the same God who was faithful in 1985 and again in 91 is still faithful today. And so he's also going to be faithful towards the future as our school is built because he is still here because this is still his school and these are still his people. That's a trailer story.